Okay, we're going to look at creating a projection for the top of this table. Um, and instead of using a planar projection, we're going to use something called a triplanar. Now, a triplanar is going to work on three planes. It'll work on the top, one side, and then this other side going down along the length of the tabletop. And we can control our image on all three of those planes to determine how we want that image placed onto our tabletop. Now this is the tabletop we'll be working with. And let's go in and create a new fang. And let's attach a texture to our color node. And let's project, let's project an image onto the tabletop. Now this is right clicking on the file create as projection and again we have nothing on here so let's go and click on this go to our file navigate to an image you'd like to use here I have a natural wood I just went onto Google and typed in seamless wood texture and I found a texture of wood and that's what I'm using to map onto my table um, after I get the image onto my table, let's go back to the projection and say fit to the bounding box. Okay, there we go. Now we can see that our 3D placement texture is placed on the side of our table. And that's not a good placement because the focus of the table is going to be the top. So I would like this placement node stretching across the top of my table. Um, so what we will need to do is to change the orientation of our 3D placement texture node. So let's go on here. And if we look at the scale, we can see one axis is scaled to eight. That's probably this going along the length of the table. One is stretched to four. And one is stretched to point 0.1. I'm guessing point 0.1 is going to be the up and down. So let's change this one to just to four, just to scale it up a little bit. Okay. So now we have a bigger 3D placement node. So let's select our placement node and select the rotate tool and rotate it. So it's pointing straight down on our table. And as you can see, as I rotate this, our rotate values change in this 3D placement node. And we can see it, we're working in negatives and we're working on our way to 90. So let's change just stop where we are now and just go negative 90 and now our projection is pointed straight down on top of our table so let's go back to our projection and say fit to the bounding box and when we do the texture resizes to be the same shape of our bounding box of our image of our object sorry so let's do a render and you can see this is mapping out great. If our table texture, this wood texture, um, has the grain going the opposite direction, then uh, it, it looks good now. But if it was going the opposite direction, we can always come in here and rotate our bounding box. See, this should be negative 90. And then say fit to the bounding box again. And it will scale that up. So let's see what. See, this is going the wrong way. So we can bring that back again. Just want you to know that you can make these adjustments so your texture fits exactly the way you want it to fit on there. So once you make an adjustment, say fit to the bounding box again, and it will resize to the size of your object. There we go. That looks better. Now, we can determine how this texture gets placed on the sides of our image. Right now, it should be just be stretching our image straight down. So whatever color that texture is at the very edge of the, um, this bounding box for this object, it just gets pulled straight down. So everything looks like it's just kind of stretching down the sides of this tabletop, which isn't necessarily uh, the best thing for this tabletop. So if we go back to our projection 
and change the projection type, then we will have more control on how our image gets projected onto the sides of this table. So let's use triplanar. So if we go to this side, we can see that now with this 3D placement node, we have the top plane of our table. We have a control for the side and this side. So if we go to our 3D texture tab, you can see that we have eight, which is going lengthwise, four, which is going across this way, and then 0.143, which is the height of our tabletop. Let's change this one to two. And you can see that our placement node stretches. So what that is gonna do is expand the texture in this direction. So what it's doing is it's squeezing that texture into this area, and then it's also squeezing it into this area, and likewise in this area. So if we expand this out, it won't be crushed. So let's see what this looks like. So this is looking a lot nicer. Let me grab this again and just bring this back to 1.43, which is where it was. Let's zoom in just so you can see what it looks like on the default values. See, everything looks a little too crushed over here. But if we open this up, it shouldn't be crushing our texture as much. Say fit to the bounding box again. You can always fit things to the bounding box. And make adjustments. You can always adjust how this texture is being mapped on there in any of those directions. So this is looking definitely a lot nicer. So this is an example of another one of these projection types that you can use in a scenario that you would find it useful.